mist filters have been gaining significant popularity lately and you may wonder what is the secret to these mist filters and why you should use them for your photography and film. Hi, my name is Kubis Tolach. Welcome to another episode. And in this video, I will explain to you why mist filters are worth using and why some photographers are keeping them secret. But before we dive in, let's take a look at the filters I use, what they actually do and why I believe they are the best available. Which filter do I use and what is a black mist filter? I use the Nisi Black Mist Filter range, but want to clarify that this video is not at all sponsored by Nisi. Although I wouldn't mind if it was. I'm a big fan of Nisi products, including their variable filters. I appreciate the high quality and the fact that the filters do not cause any color cast in my photos or videos. They are user friendly and the step up rings enable you to use these filters on any lens size. Mist filters create a diffusion effect that results in a soft, dreamy look in photos and videos. They scatter light to blur edges and soften skin textures while also lifting shadows and slightly reducing highlights to reduce contrast. Additionally, and this is amazing, they add a dreamy effect to the highlights. So you might ask, when will I use them and what strengths do they come in? Firstly, I encourage you to be intentional when using mist filters. It's not always necessary to use them, but if you want to achieve a permanent, dreamy, full cinematic look, then feel free to always use them. Black filters come in a variety of strengths, with stronger filters providing more diffusion like the 1-2. If you're unsure which strength to choose, it's best to start with the weakest filter and experiment to see what looks best. For me, the 1-8, which is the weakest, works best for portraits and video. In certain scenarios, however, I might opt for a stronger 1-4, but hardly ever use the 1-2. Why use the Black Mist filter? Well, Photography for a long time has been about staying ahead on the trends and making sure you stand out. For that reason, I think photographers and videographers have kept mist filters a secret. The search for film-like look in photography and cinematic look in video started long ago with the introduction of digital cameras. Photographers have attempted to achieve this aesthetic in recent years by using Lightroom presets, while filmmakers have relied on Lux and other grading techniques. Although mist filters have been available for a few decades, their recent reintroduction has made it possible for photographers and cinematographers to achieve the soft, beautiful film-like look. Mist filters, and specifically the black mist filter, have brought us creators much closer to achieving the film and cinematic look we have craved for so long. There are a few reasons why you might want to use the black mist filters. First, they can help to create a more flattering look for portraits. By softening skin texture and blurring edges, they can help to make your subject look more beautiful. Second, they can add a touch of atmosphere to your landscape. By scattering light, they can help to create a more dreamy and ethereal look. Finally, like a UV filter, they can help to protect your lens from scratches and dust. Using the mist filters in shadows versus in the highlights, in most shooting conditions, the black mist filter will help you to get that cinematic and film look. However, they are less effective in shadow areas such as trees, but they still create a soft look in skin tones and reduce the contrast, still resulting in that filmy look. When shooting in sunlight or towards the sun, the mist filter create a beautiful soft highlight effect that is most visible and dreamy. You can also achieve this look by shooting in cloudy conditions. However, you may lose some softness on the highlights. Nonetheless, the same contrast and soft skin effect will still apply providing you with the filmy and soft look you desire. So what is my experience with the Nisi Black Mist Filters? I've used Nisi's Black Mist Filters in a variety of situations and I've been really impressed with the results. I've used them for portraits, weddings and also my videos and I find that the 1.8 strength filter is the best for most situations. It provides just the right amount of diffusion to create a soft dreamy look without making my photo or videos look blurry. The risk of using a stronger filter like the 1.2 is ending up with the 1970s glamour look which can turn out a bit cheesy. 
Using the filters has been easy, but I did find that taking it off the lens, putting them on a different lens, takes time and can get a bit time consuming, especially if you're in a hurry. With that said, Nissi just released their Swift filter system and I can't wait to get my hands on them for fast to use. For my South African followers, if you want to check out the Nisi filters, go have a look at landscapegear.co.za. They have them there, link at the top. And for the international followers, I'll leave a link down on the bottom, go check them out. And I hope I see you in the next one. Click that like and subscribe if you did like this video. I'd really appreciate it. Cheers guys.